Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Ainura. If you're new to my channel, if you are my subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Today, I would like to do a uh, my little Bottega Veneta collection video. Uh, as you guys have been uh, noticing, probably I've added probably like I added three Bottega Veneta bag within like last uh, year, I would say, and. Um, it was a big change in my uh, handbag collection. This was not um, really related to quiet luxury. I was way before this uh, quiet luxury trend. Um, when this quiet luxury trend happened probably a few months ago, I, I was way before this trend. Um, kind of leaning towards a bit of quiet luxury. This is, doesn't mean that I'm getting rid of all of my mm, like branded and logo and loud bags. I, I still love all of my loud bags, uh, all of my monogram logo and all that stuff. I, I just want to quickly cover my opinion on quiet luxury. I am not uh, fully in that quiet luxury trend. I've always loved unique things. I always loved um, a little bit of like a logo in my collection. So I still have few, I mean quite few um, loud bags. Like I would say not quite loud bags. I love monograms. I love um, logos. And I love simple and relaxed and quieter bags. So I don't understand why people are like fighting over like quiet luxury and stuff like that. We're all different. Some people like quiet luxury, some people don't. I am the person that like a little bit of um, both um, styles. So, but in this uh, video, I want to cover all of my um, Bottega Veneta bags and I just want to cover why I'm leaning towards Bottega Veneta lately. Uh, maybe it's just uh, kind of like a phase in my um, style right now. I have been really enjoying Bottega Veneta bags and I want to and I want to cover and I want to review all of my Bottega Veneta bags because they have They've always, I'm sorry, I'm looking like towards my bags, but I have to look at the camera. But um, I've been loving Bottega Veneta bags lately because of their uh, classic uh, leather and style and, um, and maybe a quiet luxury as well. But I've been always loving a bit of quieter bags and I've been always loving loud bags as well. Currently I am into like more like relaxed uh, style. I am a newly a mom of uh, twins. I Now I have four kids. I think I've been saying all, in all of my videos about this. So because I, I have babies, I've been really kind of like uh, leaning towards less logo bags. It doesn't mean that I, I'm towards quite luxury, no. Sometimes I want to have fun with my style and I love my louder bags as well uh, that, that are logo. But let's go ahead and, and, and let's go ahead and review all of my um, Bottega Veneta bags. I only have four Bottega Veneta bags and I think I will be adding more, definitely. But the four that I have in my collection right now are my all-time favorite bags and I love the colors, I love the style, the size, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, review all of that quickly, pros and cons, whether I would like to get something else instead or not. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and review. Let's go ahead and start in order. Um, I purchased the bag. This one I purchased, I think, a couple years ago. This was my first Bottega Veneta bag. Um, sorry, I'm fixing the strap. Um, this is a padded cassette bag in the linoleum color, and I specifically fell in love with this color. I love this, like, like almost like a Tiffany blue bag, I would say. It's not quite Tiffany, but it's very similar, very, very similar. On the camera, it's very bright blue, bluish, but in real life, it's very, very um, 
close to Tiffany um, like color but I love the this puffy I mean a few years ago the puffy bags were so on trend it's still on trend now but I think it's kind of less 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 but three years ago or two years ago it was a very big big thing so that that's when I bought this I really like the color I I don't regret how why I, I don't regret about um, the, the purchase of the bag I love I still love it and this is one of the first bags that I bought that are lambskin and let me tell you about lambskin Bottega Veneta lambskin are so so durable uh, this bag uh, has been a few years in my collection and I do not baby this bag I do wear this quite often this is a very like summer spring bag that I love to take around and I just I don't see any wear nothing at all although I was very scared because it's so like it's fully leather and full lambskin this bag is so light and it's very easy to style because you don't see any logo it's very like um, it seems like it's not a luxury bag but if you guys are from a luxury like if you guys are uh, luxury lovers then you will understand that this is a Bottega bag but people that are not into bags will not know that this is a luxury bag so um, yeah it's a very great, great bag and it has a silver hardware very minimal a logo it's just you will see by this um, triangle uh, buckle and this style is Bottega Veneta like uh, bag. Inside I have a organizer but it is not um, lined at all. It is fully uh, leather inside and out and it has one pocket inside. I have very very detailed review in my um, in my channel about this bag you guys can check it out and I will also link it here but I um, I love this bag I still love this bag a lot of people ask me like will you rebuy this bag I would rebuy it still uh, in like fun pop of color definitely um, still one of my favorite bags in my collection second bag in my collection is my uh, such a loved and used bag in my collection this is my Bottega Veneta mini not sorry not mini small a Jody bag in this beautiful uh, just a very very black color in the silver hardware I love this bag oh oh my gosh I have a very detailed review of this bag I love this bag so much I was so surprised how much I love this bag um, it's really changed my love towards Bottega Veneta it's so spacious it's just a relaxed chic it's a very relaxed chic a very like carefree classic uh, hobo bag the the leather is so beautiful and soft and malleable and it is very very spacious bag as you guys see it's very very big and spacious bag I love this bag so much it's just the the way you when you hold it it's such a quiet bag it has no like logo nothing but because of this knot uh, it's like a signature Bottega Veneta knot and also the leather nobody can replicate this leather the way it's this in interchiato is just so beautiful and the leather just is very very luxurious and because this bag is very soft you will not see any like wear on the edges because it's very soft and it, like when it's like banged against like hard surface it's not um, because it's not structured it will not really wear like the edges will not wear so I do not see any wear although it is one of my most used bags in my collection and I love it I still love it I would definitely rebuy this bag if something happens to this bag
The third bag in my collection is a shoulder pouch uh, from Bottega Veneta in this beautiful like caramel color. I love this beautiful caramel color. I, When I bought my small Jody, I could not stop thinking of another Bottega Veneta bag. I've been really, really loving but hobo style Bottega Veneta bags. So when I was looking around, I found this in the pre-loved market and I just fell in love with this color although I'm not a brown person at all like I used to like not love brown any shade of caramel any shade of beige but something is switched in in my style I've been loving brown colors been loving warm colors as you guys see I have this like khaki color and the khaki color goes so well with this beigey like um, caramel and brown colors I've been loving like earthy colors I would say so when I um, yeah I fell in love with this bag I just love how this bag is so malleable as well it fits a lot and I just love the opening it has this magnet opening and it's the way it opens is just so luxurious and inside it's lined fully uh, fully in this beautiful leather this is also lambskin and because it is so like malleable you will also not see uh, as much as uh, wear on it uh, I, you can uh, hold this bag many different ways like a clutch like a shoulder bag like a top handle bag just any like anyways I think this is like the most understated Bottega Veneta bag um, yeah I love it so much the, this color is beautiful just the style is so like quiet luxury you know quiet luxury bag and my last bag um, from Bottega Veneta my recent um, addition to my collection it is this mini Bottega Veneta mini Jody and this is in the racing green color I love this bag so much I also um, bought it pre-loved all of my Bottega Veneta bags are pre-loved except the padded cassette the padded cassette I bought brand new from Farfetch uh, they had such a huge sale there and I got it for a really good deal um, and yeah so this one is also pre-loved but it was in the beautiful like brand new color uh, condition and I bought this because I just love I just love this beautiful green color this shade of green is so beautiful you guys know green is one of my favorite colors and I just love how this is um, in the gold uh, hardware and this is one of the old this is the older style mini but mini Jody it's a little bigger than and the current mini Jody it has this like more like a rectangular look uh, the newer versions are like more like a round moon shape um, I I prefer this shape than the new um, shape I love this bag it fits so much it looks very very small but it fits so much I've done a very thorough review as well uh, on this bag I've done reviews and what fits and all that stuff all the detailed videos on all of these bags um, so you can just take a look and like watch it if you guys want and like deep deep review on this specific bags will I be adding another Bottega Veneta bag definitely I would def definitely add another Bottega Veneta bag I would say I still want a Jody bag I know I am a little crazy uh, I am obsessed with Jody bags I would love a teen Jody bag they recently came up with like a denim looking Teen Jody bag, oh, I love it so much. You guys know I'm in so, in I'm in love with like anything denim, and this Jody teen in this beautiful uh, denim looking bag, I love it so much. I would love to definitely buy it, buy it. I also would like to buy a like a lavender lilac purplish color. Uh, maybe a, another mini Jody in the purple color and uh, Bottega Veneta does beautiful 
purple lavender color bags which I love so much so yeah probably another two more Jodi's I'm crazy right yeah um, yeah I don't know I don't have any other wish lists from Jodi from Bottega Veneta other than two more Jodi's in teen size and another mini size probably yeah this is all of my four uh, Bottega Veneta bags. I hope this video was helpful and let me know if you guys are into quiet luxury or into more like loud luxury bags. I, as I said, I love both, both equally. Sometimes I feel like very, very minimal, quiet, simple style and sometimes I feel like I want to have fun, I want to wear logos, I want to be very like flashy and fun, yeah. So all the way luck, all the way quiet luxury style is a bit too boring for me and all the way uh, very hardcore logo is a bit too much. So I am someone in the middle. I like a mix of both extremes and have it like a, a balance in between. So yeah, I hope this video was fun to watch. Please let me know if you guys liked like this these kind of like reviews and collect like little collection um, videos. I feel like smaller back collection videos are more informative instead of doing like a total entire um, luxury back collection. I feel like it's overwhelming. I don't really like. That kind of videos like when it when there's like 50 bags and you are talking about it every um, about like each um, I like doing a like smaller bag collection video let me know which bag is your favorite from what I showed please subscribe to my channel like my videos and follow me on Instagram I will see you later bye bye